you can take this physics practical notebook either from the publisher or ilmi book depot urdu bazar lahore or free downloading from my website experiment 19 in the practical notebook left side page of same experiment today we are going to perform an experiment and the name of the experiment is to find the refractive index of liquid using concave mirror the operators used to perform this experiment we need stand mirror and a needle then we will adjust our operators according to this diagram we will find out the approximate focal length of concave mirror by focusing some image or light step 1 we are measuring the approximate focal length of the concave mirror like this one we are focusing some image or the source of light which is coming or falling on the mirror and uh, we are seeing or focusing the image on this wall on a screen for example like this one so mathematically the distance of this focusing image on the screen to the mirror that is known as the approximate focal length of this concave mirror we want to measure the height of this needle from this mirror without liquid in order to find the refractive index of the liquid because mathematically if you want to determine if you want to find out the refractive index of the liquid it is the ratio of the height of the needle from the surface of the mirror without water and with water so in our second step we are measuring the height of this needle from the surface of this mirror without water and for this purpose we will adjust the height to remove the parallax of the needle and the image like this one. the inverted image of the needle can be seen through this mirror and by adjustment the height like this one by moving it up and down the tip of the image and the object mean image through mirror and object is this one <coughs> they must be at the same position when we are moving our head right or left the image and the needle should move with one hand so this is a way by which you can remove the parallax and when you will done it then with the help of plumb line or using the meter rod like this one by placing the tip of the meter rod at the center of the mirror and the tip of the mirror on the scale this vertical distance this vertical distance is equal to the height of this needle from the surface of the mirror without third point because our objective is we want to measure the refractive index of the liquid with the help of the concave mirror so now we are using liquid here water so we we'll pour some water we we'll pour some water to make a thin layer of water on this mirror and then we we'll again see the image of the needle through the water so we are putting we are pouring a small amount of water on this concave mirror now again we are observing the image of this needle but through the water 
when there is a thin layer of water between object and the image between the surface of the mirror, you will again see the parallax. So now we are going to again remove this parallax by adjust, uh, adjustment of the height of this needle. <coughs> so again, the parallax have been removed. And similarly, we will measure the height of this needle from the surface of this mirror when water is present. So this height is equal. Concave mirror, tripod stand, needle, plumb line or meter rod for the measurement of the vertical height. By adjustment of the height of the needle vertically, like this one. When the parallax will be removed, you can see through a mirror that the image of the needle will be coincided with the needle tip. And by moving your head left and right, the image, the tip of the image and the needle, they should move with one another without any break, like this one. For example, this should not, this should not happen. If this is happening, it means there is a parallax and this is a source of error. It is, it is a exact position like this one. This is the way by which you can remove the parallax without water on the surface of this mirror. By pouring, we will pour some water on the surface of this mirror and again we will remove this parallax. Similarly, again we will remove this parallax by adjustment of the height of the mirror from the surface of the water. Observations and calculation. Step one, we'll measure the approximate focal length of the concave mirror. That let us suppose maybe 10 centimeter, maybe 8 centimeter or something else. Then we'll take three observations. Height, then we measure the height of the needle from the surface of the mirror after removing parallax with the help of the meter rod or with the help of the plumb line. So this column represents the height of the needle from the surface of the water, uh, from the surface of the mirror after removing the parallax and this column represents the height of the needle from the surface of the mirror after removing the parallax. This is say H1, this one is H2. After measuring these heights at the end, we will apply this formula and the formula is to calculate the refractive index of liquid. That is because here we are using water. It is equal to H1 and H2. So let me suppose for our first observation, the height of the needle from the surface of the mirror after removing the parallax, say that is H1, it is 55.4 cm. And let me suppose that the height of the needle from the surface of the mirror after removing parallax with liquid, liquid was water, that is H2, it is 19.1 of cm. At the end, after taking 2-3 observations, we will take the mean value of H1 and H2. You will apply this formula, refractive index of liquid that is equal to H1 over H2 and our answer is 1.329 and the approximate value of the refractive index of water from table it is 1.33. Precautions in this experiment of one point is the focal length of the concave mirror should be large. The face of this mirror it must be clean with some chemical like acetone or something else. Third point you can say that to avoid distortion and high curvature, enough liquid should be used and when you are taking with the help of the meter rod, it must be noted that the edges should be neat and clean. If they are not neat and clean, so you can take from reading from one or two as a reference in order to avoid the error in your measurements. You can take this book from the store or free downloading from my website. These readings are given as a reference. Your readings may be different from these readings.